Hey, it's Peter in the vineyard again with uh, Henry, or as my friend uh, Tim Honan likes to say, Big Hank. Um, I saw you guys last in March, late March. It's now late May, so we've had a couple years, a uh, couple of years, a couple months of growth, uh, and I just wanted to quickly explain it to you. Um, in late March, we were talking about bud break. Now we're at the point where we're just at flowering. Um, it's been really cold here in California, and we haven't quite gotten into flowering at this vineyard. Right up on top of that hill is the Peleo Vineyard, and uh, it is flowering already. We're about a week late. It's been that uh, rainy of a season and that cold of weather, but it is uh, just about upon us. And um, so, what you can see, Hank has definitely grown quite a bit, right? Um, and what we're looking for now is uh, the flowers to uh, to to bloom. So um, I'm showing you right now a grape cluster, um, what we call kind of the initial. Um, it has not begun to flower. There's a little cap on each one of these little berries and that pops off and then the berry is actually a per perfect flower. Um, that perfect flower meaning it's got both the stamens and male parts and the female parts of a flower. Uh, so everything is self-pollinating. We don't use bees or anything of that nature. Um, but each and every single one of these little beads, or these little berries, are perfect flowers. So uh, in another week, this will have uh, a bunch, a bunch of uh, different looks. Um, as a matter of fact, I just uh, did a couple pictures. You'll see it shortly up on Facebook as well of flowering, so you can see that. But what's going to happen? Uh, flowering, and then the next uh, procedure is going to be what we call bunch closure. After uh, the berries actually ovulate, uh, pollinate. Um, uh, they start to swell up really quickly right now. We're kind of in the reproductive side of, of life at the moment. The, the vegetative growth will continue, but not so much. We're going to get into what we call the first phase of the reproductive stage. It'll go into bunch closure, and I'll come back. We'll see that um, as well. I think that'd be a good thing for you guys to see. Then um, it kind of goes back into a dormant phase. Uh, re uh, the vegetative cycle takes off again. Then we get into uh, what we call verasion, where we actually get the berry softening, colors, and everything else, coloration. Um, just so we know that this is Henry, I forgot last time, so I'm going to reach down here and I'm going to peel back a bunch of bark and make it kind of plain so that we all know when we come back um, that this is the, the plant in question, okay? So Henry just got denuded down here. This bark, it doesn't mean anything. As a matter of fact, a lot of ins... Uh, 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 bad insects can uh, harbor themselves underneath, so it's not a big deal that I just did what I did. Uh, anyway, so there you have it. Uh, basically, at flowering end of May, we'll be back here probably end of June next month, looking at bunch closure. See you then.